All right. It's another hot one. Yeah. Back after the open. So back uh, getting prepped for quarterfinals. We forgot to welcome. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome. So welcome back to another sauna talk. So yeah, quarterfinals coming up um, yep. here in just a couple weeks. We got those workouts going to be released. April 1st, look out for emails from games.crossfit.com. Those will be quarterfinals invitations. It's not spam or junk. Make sure you open it and accept the invites. This week, retesting. Congratulations to everybody yeah. that, that hit a new level on level method. One thing too, I know a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on, did I level up or not? And yes, leveling up is great, but also feeling better about a movement, yeah. even yeah. if it's even if you hit the same weight, that you hit before or even even a, a five pounds less yeah that's being it. successful in these lifts and in these tests is not always about did you level up or not feeling more confident with the movement cleaning up your movement patterns is yeah. also a big win so level method is a metric it's a single metric that allows us to program in a way that gets us better but how you feel with certain movements yeah. is also mad is huge imagine if your snatch technique is off right and you you hit the highest amount you've ever hit well eventually if your technique's bad you're going to peak where you can't get any higher right. because your technique has is, is got flaws in it right so imagine if you hit that same weight but your technique was way better we're not eight hours professional athletes right we're not training for eight hours a day remember we all have lives outside of the gym yeah most of us can barely make it here on time because we're with families you know kids uh work mm -hmm. you know doing all different kinds of jobs you will not be 100 percent coming into the gym yeah so just know if you do not hit a pr you are not failing at Absolutely. all like travis said our technique got better we showed up all right yeah. i think those are two huge wins right there absolutely we got an in-house comp girls gone rx for those that are not familiar with that this is a national competition yeah. so this is not just something that we host here this is a national competition that we have a chapter of the workouts are written by proven to uh company so these are workouts that are written by not only yeah. games athletes some yeah. are games champions you know, and, yeah. and the Looks winningest good. yeah games champion yeah They're, it's not company, a joke yeah it's, 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 not a joke. it's a very cool comp and also is for a good cause it raises money right. for for um for causes for women um it's an all-female competition so a lot of times it breaks that barrier that women may have of wanting to compete and be right. in front of you know a larger maybe a co-ed demographic that kind of is right. a little intimidating this is an all-female competition and we have some athletes that are there working um right now on getting ready for that comp so we have the first workouts been released yes we have three athletes on each team. Each of those athletes is going to get an option of either a thruster, a snatch, or a clean and jerk. Correct. It's a five rep max. That's a that's a unique number. Yeah, so, I've never seen it. So, so how would you approach going into a five rep max, knowing that it's touch and go? You don't you can't break between. How do you approach that? When I see a complex that I know I'm going to have to hit 85 percent of my one rep max, most likely. I am in the middle of that lift when I'm getting judged, all I'm focusing on is technique. Committing to my technique, whether it's my hook grip, whether it's my pull, whether it's my shoulder overhead and getting under the bar, all I think about is technique. In my head, I can lift the weight. Right. I know I can. It's when I start to get flustered and focus on just the weight mm -hmm. and I lose technique and I start to muscle it or grunt work through it. If the technique's not there, we're not gonna improve. Well, we're if we're, and if it. we're truly hitting a five rep max, and then you get a no rep. Yeah. A five yes. rep max now turns into a six rep max. Right. So we don't want to do six reps if we don't have to. Yeah. And for many athletes like me, you know, when we're talking central nervous system athletes, I am a CNS athlete. And when I say that, when I hit this, when I, if I was to have to hit this five rep test, I'm done. Yeah. You know, I'm on the floor. I'm, I'm going to hit my five rep max and I'm out of there because typically for an athlete like me, trying or attempting again if I fail. I've already lost so much percentage out right. of my technique and my strength. And speaking of percentages, if you're trying to figure out where to start, most people in a workout, if you're really working up to a true five, you know, five rep heavy, you yeah. know, where that RPE, that perceived exertion is getting around that eight to nine to 10 mark, then we're looking at a uh, kind of a high 80s range. We're looking yeah. at somewhere like somewhere 85 to 88. Yeah. To, for a true five rep max so if you're trying to figure out hey where do i even start trying to test this where should i be yeah. if you know your one rep max that's probably a good place to start right. if you know you've got a five rep you have to compete and you're trying to prep for it mm -hmm. when you start prepping for this does it make more sense to go for the five and see how that feels or as your weight's going up maybe hitting a three and then based off feeling kind of determining like I got two more in the tank, maybe shut it down. What, yeah. How would you approach it? Are that? you talking day of or preparing? Like preparing week, for, weeks like in. weeks, like okay. at this point. Cool, yeah, so so we're a few weeks out of the competition, right? 
I'm probably going to hit a five rep max okay. at some point. Now, when is very important, right? Again, for CNS athletes, you need time to recover. I'm not going to hit it a day before. Right. The, probably the week leading up to it, first thing in the first thing on a Monday, if it comps on Saturday, I'm probably going to hit that five rep max on a Monday. Okay. And then after that, we're not touching it. We know our numbers. Okay. We know what we want to hit. And then let's talk warm up in 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 the warm up area real quick uh, as we prepare. You know, we've got 20 minutes right to, to before we walk out on stage. We're not going to hit our five rep max in that warm up area. Travis mentioned it earlier. We're probably going to hit two to three reps of a higher percentage. I might hit my five rep max number one time to make sure I'm comfortable, but I will not hit a five rep max in the warm up area. Yeah, if that makes sense. No, Don't waste it. It's perfect. Yeah, and also you got to think, think when you get out on the stage, adrenaline is also going to be affected. Oh yeah. Right? So you're going to have oh, yeah. that adrenaline is going to give you probably a couple percentage points more than what you anticipate. Yeah. So I think hitting the weight that you expect to hit. If that feels good, or maybe even if it feels a little heavier than you expect it to yeah, on comp don't, day, don't get scared. Don't get scared yeah. of it because when yeah. you get out there and like the crowd's turning on, Aaliyah, perfect example last year at Girls Gone RX, there was a barbell complex. She was the only one left on the floor, oh. got to one of the shoulder to overhead movements, missed it, yeah. stopped, and ended up hitting it yeah. after a ladder, that's, right? That's awesome. So, and the whole crowd was going yeah. nuts. And so that adrenaline that's spike what, is. That's is what big. competition is for. It is, and Matt Frazier says it best training is for training and practicing. We are athletes when we compete. So when we compete, we get to show off right. everything we've prepared for. So don't think about this as, you know, don't be scared to go out there. You're, you have prepared mentally and physically and technically. So now it's time to go show off everything. So that's, that's, that's perfect. And I think one of the things to touch on just from a technical standpoint is in these things like you're clean and yeah. snatch. Yeah, let's move into that. So the most important thing here is being able to hold on to the bar. If you right. got a five rep max, it's, it's a whole lot different than a one rep max. You know, where if you can, you get one time to hold on to that implement, that's one thing. But if you get that three to five range, yeah. the weakest part of your body is going to be a breaking point. Right. And so for a lot of people, right. it's going to be a grip. That's it. So make sure when you're doing these cleans and when you're doing the snatch, it is imperative that you have a hook grip. Yep. Make sure that thumb is tucked under and behind. We're locked into the bar so that our shoulders that feel great aren't upset because our grip was off. Right. Um, the other thing that we, I was talking with some of the athletes earlier this week, we were going through some things. Um, thrusters became a point of discussion. Yeah. So remember, by definition, a thruster is a front squat into a push press, it. Yep. not a two jerk, movements. Yeah. Right? Two movements so, in one. So if you're dropping at all back under that bar, it's going to throw you off. So yeah. where I tend to see a lot of people kind of fail and start to have to redip is when they're coming out of the bottom, there's no acceleration through yep. before they get to that that yep. overhead press piece. Right. That's so it. if you're if you're moving at that same pace, you're not going to have enough momentum right. to be able to get the bar overhead without having to drop back under it. Right. Um, control it like you would a front squat, and then as you would be coming back up, then accelerate. Yes. You're going to bounce no matter what. You don't want to have a pause at the bottom. Don't lose that tightness in your core. Right. You know, Travis, that's a big thing when Travis is coaching me in front squats, cleans, thrusters. Everything is about our core tightness at the bottom of that squat and continuing the tightness all the way through. If we lose that and we go what we call mashed potato core, we've lost the power. Your core is the bridge between your legs and your arms. So if we lose engagement here, you've got this being supported by only this, but with no power underneath it to actually get it over your head. Yeah. So really maintaining that and then trying to speed up from the bottom. Because yes. if we don't speed up, it's essentially doing a front squat. Right. And we got to have enough momentum for the bar to continue even after our body stops. Right, the energy is building from the ground. I say when you throw a punch, it all starts from the feet and it goes through the fist, right? Same thing here, right? It starts through the feet and it builds through the fist, through the punch out. So we are building. So like he says, all your power is not gonna come out of the bounce. It's building, 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 and then it's the punch into that push press. I would say if you have a weight that you think you can hit and as you're practicing, it feels like you're not getting to that fourth, fifth rep. Yeah. Before you lighten the weight and decide to go lighter, what I would suggest is grabbing a coach and let's look at if you're maintaining that core integrity yeah, and able to be speedy through the middle on the way back up because you may have all the strength. Yeah. We just may be losing that as we start to practice that movement. For the snatches, those snatches can be any any style that you want to know. Some athletes feel better with power. Right. Some feel better with a, a squat snatch. You can do both. Let's say if you start yep, with power and you start to get tired, drop lower. Let your legs do a little bit of the work. Don't feel like you have to do one the entire time. Yeah, clarify with your judge before you go, hey, make sure we can do power and full. Okay, cool. And then again, what's comfortable for you? I'm a full snatch athlete. I'll full snatch all day long. I'm one of the few that like that. I wish I could power. If you have the strength and the technique to power, 
All you day, baby. Yeah. yeah, all day. And then the jerk on the clean and jerk can be any any style same, jerk. It can be a push thing. jerk, power yep. jerk, split jerk, or if you're feeling crazy, a squat jerk. Yep. We will be needing volunteers. Every year this comes around, yeah. this takes, it's it's a production. And Coach Angela is really like, she's the like, the glue that puts this thing together and holds it together. Right. But one of the things we're going to need is judges. I know right. for sure we'll need judges. We'll need people to help corral and move athletes. So when that announcement comes out, please come help out. It's a yeah, fun just, event. It's it's the, the gym is packed to the gills. The events are amazing. And again, it's supporting a really good cause with Girl Scout Arts. Yeah, I think it's a big call for the guys. You know, guys, we're not competing. What else do we do best by, you know, we, we support our gym, right? So treat it like a Saturday. Yeah. Come show up. It doesn't have to be all day. And think about this. We're going to have athletes from other gyms yeah. that are coming to compete. It's, so this is our opportunity to really showcase what we all know to be, right. you know, the amazing community that we have. This is a chance for other people to see it. This year with some, you know, we have so many more athletes from our gym that can be. I'm excited to be on the floor coaching you guys and watching you succeed. First person to comment in the comments below their favorite moment from this week from retest movements. Love it. Doesn't have to be PRs. Okay. So if you didn't PR, you can still comment, Love but it. we want to see first comment, favorite moment from retest, whether it's for somebody else or a personal win or moment for yourself fitted on us. Perfect. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. We will catch you all next week. If you have any questions or concerns about anything related to the gym, about Girls Gone RX, or technique and competition in general, go uh, grab Coach Pierce and I. We're happy to help you guys. We love you guys, and we'll see you next week. See y'all. <laughs> My eyes.